In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Be near us, O Lord, to those who plead before you, and look kindly on those who place their hope in your mercy, that cleansed from the stain of their sins, they may persevere in holy living and be made full heirs of your promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Genesis. Abram bowed to the ground, and God said this to him, Here now is my covenant with you. You shall become the father of a multitude of nations. You shall no longer be called Abram. Your name shall be Abraham, for I make you father of a multitude of nations. I will make you most fruitful. I will make you into nations, and your issue shall be kings. I will establish my covenant between myself and you and your descendants after you, generation after generation, a covenant in perpetuity, to be your God and the God of your descendants after you. I will give to you and to your descendants after you the land you are living in, the whole land of Canaan, to own in perpetuity, and I will be your God. The Word of the Lord. The Lord remembers His covenant forever. Consider the Lord and His strength. Constantly seek His face. Remember the wonders He has done, His miracles, the judgments He spoke. The Lord remembers His covenant forever. O children of Abraham His servants, O sons of the Jacob he chose. He, the Lord, is our God. His judgments prevail in all the earth. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. He remembers his covenant forever. His promise for a thousand generations. The covenant he made with Abraham. The oath he swore to Isaac. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. Your words are spirit, Lord, and they are life. You have the message of eternal life. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Jesus said to the Jews, I tell you most solemnly, whoever keeps my word will never see death. The Jews said, Now we know for certain that you are possessed. Abraham is dead, and the prophets are dead, and yet you say, whoever keeps my word will never know the taste of death. Are you greater than our father Abraham, who is dead? The prophets are dead too. Who are you claiming to be? Jesus answered, If I were to seek my own glory, that would be no glory at all. My glory is conferred by the Father, by the one of whom you say he is our God, although you do not know him. But I know him. And if I were to say, I do not know him, I should be a liar, as you are liars yourselves. But I do know him, and I faithfully keep his word. Your father Abraham rejoiced to think that he would see my day. He saw it and was glad. The Jews then said, You are not fifty yet, and you have seen Abraham? Jesus replied, 
I tell you most solemnly, before Abraham ever was, I am. At this, they picked up stones to throw at him. But Jesus hid himself and left the temple. The Gospel of the Lord. Sisters and brothers, in our Gospel today, we hear how Jesus was confronted by the literal mindedness of the religious leaders. Instead of reflecting on the spiritual truth behind his words, they became obsessed in their literal understanding, questioning how Jesus could claim to have seen Abraham when he is not yet 50 years old. This encounter serves as a reminder for us about the dangers of literal interpretation of God's word. When we become fixated on the surface meaning of scripture without probing deeper into its spiritual truths, we risk missing out on God's grace and its transformative power in our lives. Hence, literal mindedness can lead us astray in several ways. Firstly, like Jesus' adversaries, we may find ourselves questioning the validity of scripture or church teachings because they do not align with our preconceived logic and ideologies. Secondly, literal mindedness can brew in us a rigid and legalistic faith that focuses more on rules and regulations. However, when we become overly concerned with adhering to the letter of the law, we risk losing sight of love, mercy, and grace that lie at the core of the gospel. And thirdly, literal mindedness can hinder our ability to spiritually mature in our relationship with God. Instead of allowing the Holy Spirit to guide us in deepening our faith and understanding of God's ways, we may become stuck in our own narrow understanding of how things should be, thus closing ourselves off to the spiritual wisdom that God desires us to know. Therefore, when Jesus says, whoever keeps my word will never see death, he is saying that if we internalize his word and faithfully live by his commandment, we won't have to face the consequences of sin. Moreover, when we live a repentant life, we are assured of eternal life. That is, God's mercy and love for us that carries on beyond physical death. So as we journey through these last few days of Lent, let us pray for wisdom and understanding to discern the deeper truths of God's word and the courage to live them out in our daily lives. Like Abraham in our first reading, God promises abundance of blessings to those who hold fast to his words, especially in moments of temptations, challenges, and pain. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that by the same sacrament with which you feed us in the present age, 
you may make us partakers of life eternal. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Bow your head and pray for God's blessing. Be gracious to your people, Lord, we pray, that as from day to day they reject what does not please you, they may be filled instead with delight at your commands. Through Christ our Lord. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life.